Hey what's up everybody, thank you for checking this video. If you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. But even if you don't, enjoy and happy coding! This episode is brought to you by SkySilk. If you're looking for a free Linux-based VPS in the cloud, go to skysilk.com. No strings attached. Just awesome stuff. So in this tutorial, I was planning to create a gallery manager, but that sounds a bit silly because WordPress has a built-in gallery manager for both posts and pages, or pretty much for every custom post type that has access to the media uploader. So if we open an example of a post and we click on add media, instead of adding a regular image like you always do, just select the option to create a gallery. With this option, we can select as many pictures as we want and create a new gallery. Automatically, WordPress we generate a gallery for us based on the IDs of those pictures and we have full control on how to visualize this thing. So if we insert the gallery in the front end in the visual editor of WordPress, we will see a preview of the gallery. But if we open the text image, we will see also that the gallery is managed by a built-in shortcode with a list of IDs and all those IDs are the images IDs. So it doesn't really make sense to actually build an extra section, an extra gallery addition to our plugin because WordPress comes with a built-in gallery method in it that you can customize in the front end. So for now, I'm gonna skip the creation of this gallery manager. If you have some suggestions or some requests of something related to the gallery manager, if you think that could add more value or more specific options to this plugin, please please let me know, but for now I'm gonna skip it and we're gonna tackle the testimonial manager. So let's activate the testimonial manager and let's save the changes. Of course, in the testimonial manager section, there's nothing, just an empty template as usual. What I wanna do for this testimonial, I don't want a section in here, but I wanna create a custom post type called testimonials and having the same functionalities of a comments custom post type. So we're gonna have the section related to the author who wrote this with the ability to store a custom email, a custom title and stuff like that. And then some extra options related to the testimonial to approve and approve. So just moderate the comment and select if we want that specific testimonial to be featured in a front-end slider that we're gonna print in our front-end with a shortcode, a custom shortcode. So let's do it. Let's access our code editor and let's access the testimonial controller and here we can basically remove pretty much everything that we currently have. We don't need the sub pages. We don't need to generate callbacks. Let's remove all these things. We don't need to set anything of those things. But here, let's remove also the set sub pages method. Perfect. And let's trigger directly the generation of a custom post type. So let's create the usual add action built-in method of WordPress and let's add an action on initialization and this action we need to pass an array because we need to pass this very own instance of this class and then a method called testimonial CPT or something like that. You can call it however you want. Now we can create a publicly accessible function called testimonial underscore CPT. No parameters needs to be passed and we can directly trigger the built-in method to register a post type for WordPress. And inside here, we can specify the name of this post type that is gonna be testimonial. And then a list of arguments that we can specify these variable args. And now let's fill up these variable args with our usual associative array. And here let's print the default information, like the most basic information to generate a custom post type. We already know what we have to do because we did it many, many times. So let's create first the labels, then it's gonna be another array. So labels, we can generate this in a second. And then we can specify that this is publicly accessible and we can set to true. The archive has to be set to false because I don't want an archive of testimonials. I don't want to just like read all the testimonials. I don't want users to randomly access the testimonials if they can with a permalink because I would just want to print my future testimonials. All the things that the user specifically select to print in the front end, not everything. Let's create another variable up here or an array called labels that we are actually printing here. And for the labels, let's specify the name that it's gonna be testimonials. 
in the singular name, then it's gonna be equal to testimonial. Perfect. Let's save it. Let's go back in our backend. Let's refresh. Oh, mistake. That's a typo. Labels. And I called it here labels. Sorry. <laughs> that was just a silly mistake. Refresh. Perfect. Now we have this testimonial section, but we don't want to leave it like that. I mean, it's fine. It looks okay, but let's customize it just a little bit. First, I want a, a nice little icon from the dash icons. And then I want to customize the type of columns that we have here that we are visualizing just to resemble a little bit the type of columns that we have in the comment. So by printing a custom author and the comment preview that we're going to have in our testimonial. So let's do it. Let's go back in our code editor. So in the list of arguments right after the has archive, let's write the menu underscore icon and let's use a built in dash icon of WordPress. If you don't know what's a dash icon, you just go to to the website or just to Google and you search for WordPress dash icons automatically you should be able as a first result to access the developer page of WordPress where you have the full list of all the available built-in icons or font icons inside WordPress and we can use this in uh, all the plugins or custom sections that we can generate and there are a lot of them so it's it's pretty cool we can search by I don't know if they have a testimonial yeah it's kind of like okay dash icon testimonial so we can use that it's kind of similar to the comments but not too bad but slightly different so it's gonna be fine so let's copy these dash icon testimonials that is the unique name of that icon and let's put it here let's paste it as a string then I want to specify another couple of extra things so first I want this to exclude from search and set to through because I don't want the testimonials to show up in the search result page. Plus I want to remove the publicly underscore queryable. And in this case, I want to set this to false because I don't want this to be publicly queryable by the user by using like post type equal or whatever other extra options in the WP query. This will prevent our testimonials to show up in the results of the user. Another option that I want to add is the type of support that these custom post types should have because right now if we go back in our administration area and we open it up or like we create a new testimonial we just have the title and the editor which is okay is that's what we wanted but we want to specify that these are the only options that we want automatically if we don't specify anything WordPress will apply those default supports options so it's going to generate this stuff for us but it's better to be obvious of what we need and what we want from our custom post type so let's specify supports plural and inside here let's specify an inline list of array not associated array just a regular array by saying that we want to support the title and we want to support the editor where we're going to store our testimonial comment and that's it. We don't want any extra option. We don't want the thumbnail. We don't want the revisions, comments, trackbacks or stuff like that. We just want to leave it like that. So let's save it. Let's go back in our backend refresh. If we add new section and we open the screen option, you will see that we don't have any other option to activate. We don't have the thumbnail. We don't have the revision. The only thing that we can activate is the slug if we want to change it. But we don't really use it, so it's fine. And that prevents the user to accidentally customize or add extra options to these testimonials, which we don't want. And hey, look at that. We have also our cute, super cute custom icons, which is not, it's not bad. That's pretty much it for this lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, as usual, happy coding.